What's good, y'all? Shout out to Notification Gang for hitting the like button. And the bill didn't even start yet. Y'all are village ones. I appreciate you anyway. I'm going to try my best to stop and go with this video as much as possible, man. Y'all already seen the title, but let me do it again. Five men that women run into when it comes to dating, right? So I'm going to stop it after everyone that she introduced and give my my take. Uh, if we still have time towards the end, I'll go back and replay this video from beginning to end without stopping. Because uh, I think this video is only maybe a minute long or something like that. Y'all know how they do on TikTok nowadays, man. I had somebody send this to me. Uh, shout out to y'all. Y'all are the ghosts, man. If you haven't already, please make sure that you add me on whatever social media platforms that you can. Um, all my information is in the about page. It's in the description. All my links is there. Y'all know what time it is, man. But um, yeah, let, let's let's get into it because I'm eager to see what 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 five what five type of men that women typically constantly run into or go for. For some reason, it feel like we all running into the same five. <laughs> you got the guy who says he's not ready for a relationship but wants to do all the relationship things. Second, you got the. You have the guy that. Doesn't want a relationship, but wants relationship things. Y'all heard what she said, right? Let, let, let's run it back again. <laughs> you got the guy who says he's not ready for a relationship, but wants to do all the relationship things. As far as, I'm assuming sex, right? We all know it's always that. As far as sex, as far as him wanting her to cook and clean for him, as far as him wanting, uh, you know, one that's be exclusively him while he's running around smashing other chicks. Like I, I, I don't, I don't. It could be a million of those things. I will say this, ladies, listen. Men will allow, or yes, men, men, men will. Men can only do to you what you allow them to do. That's what I should say. So if you're allowing them to do these types of things, it's because, I mean, I'm assuming you want them to. He doesn't want a relationship, but wants relationship things. That means you're allowing him to get relationship things without being into a relationship, without being a relationship. There's been so many times where I've messed with whatever chick I was messing with, right? Um, you know, sexually, right? And they'll tell me, hey, listen, like, Dev, I, I only do this with guys I'm in a relationship with. I only do this with guys that I'm serious about this and that third. And I would tell them, hey, listen, man, I'm not trying to get serious with you. I don't want a relationship with you. I don't want this. I don't want that. Whatever the case may be. And after they see I'm not budging, eventually they'll just be like, hey, yo, you know what? Let's do it. Let's let's see. And stuff like that will last for a long period, long periods of times. No type of titles, no type of name, no, no, no nothing. Ladies, men will only allow you to do, uh, uh, men will only do things to you. The um, I'm, I'm screwing it up. My bad. <laughs> men can only do things to you that you allow them to do. But let, let's hear number two. Second, you got the guy who's not over his ex, and he don't realize he needs to go talk to the lady. Third. I say this all the time, right? And this is that. That was a really good one. I'm not even going to lie. That's a really good one. Uh, this, and this can go for men and for women. Ladies, if you're messing with a guy who's not over his ex, and fellas, if you're messing with a woman that's not over her ex, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Dead ass, leave it alone. It's not worth it. It's really not. Because one thing I don't like doing is doing the back and forths or, you know, just getting getting your feelings involved only to find out that the, the woman or the man that you're serious, that you're trying to get serious about still secretly wants to be with the with, with their ex. It's a really bad feeling. It doesn't feel good. It's not, it's not a, it's not a, how, 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 how should I say this? Something that 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 you will want to see, especially when you're the main one putting all of your um your thoughts, your emotions, your time, your energy into someone, only to see, only to think that you're going to be having that type of uh stuff be reciprocated back. But it doesn't happen that way. You see, it doesn't happen that way. So what happens? Hey, yo, you still texting your ex? You still calling your ex? And they almost, all, they, I'm not going to say never do it, but they almost never tell you the truth about it. When you ask them about their ex, oh, you over your ex? Oh, I've been over her. Oh, I've been over him. Oh, no, I mean, nothing going on. Nothing. Which I know text messages don't lie. Them text messages come through. And when you see them messages, oh, baby, I miss you. Oh, I still think about us. Oh, are we going to be getting back together? 
So you still want it to be with him. Cool. Say less. Say less. Let, let, let's, let's, hear, let's hear the next one. You got the one who got a baby on the way. He not really claiming it because he don't know if it's his. Then you got the one. That's the worst one, ladies. And, and it, that's number four. If you're ever in a situation where you're messing with a man that has a baby on the way and you still messing with him, then you're the dumb one. You're the stupid one. Sorry. And the same thing goes for men dating women that, that, that just had a baby three months or six months, less than, honestly, less than a year. Less than a year. I'll, I'll even say two years. But let, let me just try to meet y'all in the middle, ladies. Less than a year ago. She has a baby less than a year ago and, she, and she's single. I see women all the time be pregnant, four months, five months pregnant and single. How? How? This don't make no damn sense. It doesn't. So why would you ladies put yourself in a stupid ass situation to be with a man that has a baby on the way? The baby ain't even born yet. He already went with somebody else. And what you thinking? Oh, well, he gonna be with me because I'm better than her. It's just stupid stuff. And who is all on your, giving you everything that you need. Conversation, personality, making you feel comfortable, making you feel safe. And it just randomly decides to ghost you for like two weeks. They're not ready and they be so busy. Boy, f you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, that, that could be, <laughs> I mean, that, that could be anything. I mean, I've done stuff like that before where it was like, y'all really want to be in a relationship with you, this, that, and third, and then something happens to the point where either I get turned off from her or maybe I lose interest in her or maybe I gain interest in another chick and then I, and then I clear it, right? Um, th th Those types of situations, like a toss-up, I really don't have an explanation on why we do those types of things, ladies, I, I won't be able to tell you, I'm sorry. Um, What I will say is uh, like people that like you, put energy in people that put energy into you. Everything should be reciprocated, uh, ladies, fellas, too, but everything should be reciprocated no matter what it is. I don't give a damn what it is, whether it's your time, whether it's your energy, whether it's anything sexual, whether it's finances, whether it's, you know, I don't care, whatever it is, it should be reciprocated. Now, maybe you're in a situation where it can't be reciprocated equally. Oh, excuse me. Okay, cool. But make sure if something is being reciprocated back, make sure you're not walking back empty handed. There should always be some type of exchange of goods or energy or whatever it is. Something. And then the fifth one, this is the one who you try to give a chance to who's not really in your league. Maybe I need to try some new things. So let me just give him a chance. So you give him a chance and then he play in your face. And that's all that are out here right now. If I missed any of them, please let me know. Um, Beautiful woman, man. Gorgeous as hell. Gorgeous, gorgeous woman. Let, let me play this whole thing from beginning to end with, without stopping, okay? For some reason, it feels like we're all running into the same five. <laughs> you got the guy who says he's not ready for a relationship but wants to do all the relationship things. Second, you got the guy who's not over his ex and he don't realize he needs to go talk to the lady. Third, you got the one who got a baby on the way. He not really claiming it because he don't know if it's his. Then you got the one who is all on your giving you everything that you need. Conversation, personality, making you feel comfortable, making you feel safe. And it just randomly decides to ghost you for like two weeks. They're not ready and they be so busy. Boy, you and then the fifth one this is the one who you try to give a chance to who's not really in your league maybe i need to try some new things so let me just give him a chance so you give him a chance and then he play in your face and that's all that are out here right now if i missed any of them please let me know <laughs> shout out to her man um beautiful beautiful woman man gorgeous as hell um, I don't see her TikTok name. I, I would have shouted her out, but you know, whatever, whatever it is, whatever it is. If y'all know who this is, please make sure y'all comment in the um, Jeff in the comments and let me know because I would love to shout out her channel if she has one. Um, great video, man. Great video. Five men that women run into when it comes to dating ladies. I mean, yeah, they out here. Same thing for fellas. It's the same thing. They, they out here. It's unfortunate. Uh, you have to do what you have to do to vet through these ain't sugar honey iced tea men. And find the right one. I have a million video and videos. One of them, if I remember, I put the eye at the top. Uh, one of the videos I have called uh, Ladies uh, Seeking Relationships. Uh, I'll put that eye at the top if I remember. Please go back and watch that. Go back and watch that. Because in, in that video, I said, ladies, uh, one of the biggest things that you want to have uh, when you're dating is to have real men around you. This could be family. This could be friends. It could be a homie. This could be someone that's not someone that's, that's not going to be, um, you know what I mean? Someone that's not going to be biased, I should say, 
towards you or anything that you're doing. Right. So, um, you know, but that that's 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 just me. I want you to comment down below and uh, let me know what I thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. And until next time, please, may I be safe for her,